What's up, y'all? This is your girl Adele Givens. I am such a lady, and you are watching the Tanae Show. All Keep right. it locked. Right. So what's going on, everybody? Tanae here on the Tanae Show, of course, here with Adele. What's up? What's up, Tanae? Hey, here with a very, very funny person. I love you so much. You are hilarious. So you in Charlotte. You got the Comedy Zone going on this weekend. What can the people expect? What's going on? How's it going? <laughs> it's going great. They are giving me standing ovations, mm. and I'm loving this. Charlotte, I'm loving the love. Thank you all for it. But don't expect nothing. The only thing you can expect is a good time, and that is a guarantee. Ooh, I love it. I love comedy. So how long have you been doing this comedic thing? What? How did you get into it? Uh, I've been doing it now for about twenty. Seven years, <laughs> and uh, wow. and uh, I got into it through a contest. Some people were calling me, asking me, uh, you know, telling me I should get in this contest. They heard on the radio when mm -hmm. I got home from work, my message just was full. So I, I, um, I decided to try it. Mm, and you've been doing it ever since. I've been doing it ever since. I won the contest. I then I won the finals. So I said I must be, must be meant for me to do something like that. That is crazy. So what's the best part about doing what you do? What's the parts in it? Like, what do you love about being a dam? There's so many things about um, this job that I love. And, you know, just being myself because that's number one. Being myself is this job. Mm -hmm. Every comedian is an individual. You know, it's a individual contractor. Right. And they make their own uh, platform. But I, it's so much. Just giving to people, seeing people laugh. People hear my stories mm -hmm. and they say, wow, thank you for saying that. Or they say, hey, I really needed this laugh today. All of that is, you know, it, yeah. it helps. It's, it's, it's a it. big, yeah, it's a big old bonus. Uh, the paycheck is good, but the bonus <laughs> is better. I hear that. So you've had your foot in a lot of stuff, ma'am. D.L. Hughley, The Parkers, Steve Harvey Show, and then, of course, my favorite classic of all time, you already know what I'm going to say. You ain't going to say play. The play is ah! Yes, tricks. You know I had to say it. Uh, so no. did you all know that that movie was going to be as big as it got? No way. No way. It's a classic cult. Yeah. It's like a hit right now. I still get residuals. Hi. Hey, that's the best part. That's the best part. Oh but it, no, no way. No way did I know that. I don't think Ice Cube knew that. I don't think anybody knew that. When we were doing it, we were just like, I, that was my first film so mm -hmm. it was like yay I, I had no idea so do you have a new perspective perspective on like strippers like do you how what do you think about the pole game like what's your perspective on strippers because you I mean you was tricked so I mean <laughs> hey make that money don't let it make you hey. youngin but I, I don't have a different perspective I always respect any person that chooses to be their own boss or mm -hmm. do a job or have a hustle that provides for them. I really don't knock it. I mean, you, you take your clothes off every day, any damn way, might as well get some money for it. What the hell? You do it for free at the damn mall. You go in there and just start taking. Mm -hmm. You do it for free at TSA. You just start taking shit off. And don't yeah, nobody throw no saying. money at you. They might throw some change. Hey, you left this in the bowl, but that's <laughs> that ain't the same. Oh my gosh. So you, you of course, <laughs> this is crazy. You, of course, work with Bernie Mac. Absolutely. Talk about him. Like, what did you learn from him? What kind of impact did he have on you? Bernie Mac was just like, he, to, I think to many Chicago comedians, he's the godfather of comedy. Not just because he made it so uh, far in the industry, but mm -hmm. because his, uh, his comedic style, the way he the way he looked after us when we went on tour, he was like a big brother to me. He didn't let nothing go down without Bernie blocking. Bobby Brown tried it, but Bernie blocked it. Really? Uh-uh, uh-uh, beat it. <laughs> yes, yes, Bernie was like the, he was the godfather mm -hmm. of, of stand-up, and he didn't, uh, you know, he just didn't play a lot of crazy games like a lot of people do. We go on the road, he's like, oh, this ain't happening, that ain't happening. We learned a lot on the road from mm -hmm. him. He had done it before. Right. So when I met him in like 90 or 89, it was late 89, he was already a veteran uh, mm -hmm. at the game, and but I didn't know it, you know, because he was kind of restarting, starting over. and uh, But he's just, my heart, he's my heart. Mm -hmm. That's my comedy heart. I love wow. Bernie Mac. I know you miss him. Yes, wow. I do. <laughs> I think we, we, we say things and do things that Bernie inspired on a daily basis. Wow. Trust me, Sydney Fool. 
That is amazing. <laughs> and the Queens of Comedy, which you were referring to, I actually interned under Walter Latham when I was in college. Oh, good yeah, good. so I know exactly who he is. Very good person. Talk about that tour. It was awesome. That yeah. was, I often say that it's the best tour that I've done. Really? Yes. Why is that? Because I was bonding with sisters. Mm -hmm. We were, they talk, I, I don't wear makeup. So Mo, I mean, uh, Monique bought me my very first foundation, mm -hmm. and Samoa tried to teach me how to put on eyelashes. She tried, bless her heart. I didn't <laughs> quite get it, but it was just—it's a lot of work. It's too much work. Samoa used to come down to the interviews beat. Yeah. We'd be like, "It's 6 a.m. Where the hell you been? How you look so good?" Yeah. We had so much fun on that tour. I really—I have not had that much fun before but of course I was always with men mm -hmm. and you don't have the same bond or the same connection right. as you do with women so it was it was heaven that was my best tour ever so far wow. hopefully we can do it again we ain't gonna hey. be all old and shit you know Monique <laughs> rolling up with her yeah, walker it, me chewing snuff <laughs> come on they all still some damn juice <laughs> Hey, bitches laugh. That's they ain't gonna laugh. But you know, it's crazy. They'll still go out and buy it. They they, uh, they would. They, that's you. because they, you know, they ain't got their mind right. They old and they feeble and they don't forget shit. So they're like, let me get ticket to exactly. fucking lady. Shit. <laughs> you so crazy. Do you think that you're underrated? Uh, in some places, I absolutely do. But that's, you know, I. I have to balance that, you know, because you have to have humility. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to sit up like, I'm the shit. I don't know what's wrong with them. Yeah. They don't know. They better ask somebody. <laughs> but there are certain areas that I know that they haven't uh, acknowledged in a way mm -hmm. that they, they don't know. I mean, right. they don't know. I have to get it out there. I need to I need to do what, what you just call it, Snapchat, Snapchat that type yeah. of shit. See, All of those I'm an old schooler. Snapchat, when we snap, ain't no chatting. I ain't talking to nobody when I snap. Oh, it's on, buddy. It's on. Don't make me snap. <laughs> ain't no damn chatting. Look, we don't want to see. We don't want to see that. And to kind of go off of that, I heard, I read somewhere that you actually were going to take a hiatus. You were going to stop doing comedy at one point. What, what happened? What was going on? Why did you want to just shut it all the way down? Well, because I wasn't on the road. I was um, with my husband who had had to uh, have transplants. He was very ill, and in fact, they didn't expect him to live. Oh, wow. So they told us he was going to die. So I was living in the hospital, so I had to mm -hmm. take a hiatus. He was a transplant patient. And if you know anything about transplants, you know you have to be near uh, the city you plan to get the surgery okay. so, because they call you. It, it, the, the organs come, like, instantly. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, it's like they call you and you got to be there. You, you got a, a small window to be where they need you to be to see if you're compatible to this organ so that they can do the surgery. Wow. So I couldn't go far, you know, mm. so I wasn't. So I was going to I was going to just quit, you know, mm -hmm. just so people wouldn't be looking for me in, in limbo looking for me. Yeah. Well, how's he doing now? He's doing well. He's doing wow. absolutely fantastic. Amazing. So how many years have you all been married? Uh, Twenty four. 24 wow. years. I can barely date for a year. Goodness gracious, it's <laughs> hard. You know, you sometimes get, you know, you get tired of people. People get yeah. on your nerves. And I have very low tolerance, which I'm having to work on. My mom was like, you can't just leave everybody because they get on your nerves. You got to You can leave them and go on vacation. <laughs> you can be like, you know what? You get on my damn nerve. I'm going to yeah. leave for a week or two, and I'll see you when I get <laughs> back. Dead. Maybe I'll miss you. But here's the thing. If you leaving them mm -hmm. and you're not missing them, you're supposed to be leaving anyway. Mm -hmm. See, that's, it's not just your tolerance. It's it's your uh, it's your destiny. Right. You know what I mean. You're yeah. not you're not destined to be with somebody if you leave them and then you don't miss them and you don't want to go back. That was <laughs> you did the right, right thing. So don't blame your tolerance. Mm, something ain't right. So you going back to right, that's all. well, I do have a boo now. Well, you might have met Mr. Right. I might have because I know he's gonna be watching this. <laughs> but. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Right. Uh, <laughs> he know he know who he is. It ain't Mr. Left. That's all we gonna say. Right, exactly. So going back to Monique, I know you have seen where she used to talk a lot about open marriage. How do you feel about that? I mean, she had said at one point, you know, if her husband was attracted to another woman and he wanted to explore that, she didn't want to limit him to go explore that if it was something that that lady could provide that she couldn't. A open marriage. How do you feel about that? I mean, that's her option. You know, I don't, I try not to judge people what, whatever they choose to do. Mm -hmm. um, 
like we were talking about strippers earlier. You know, that's, that's their option. You know, yeah. a lot of people don't agree with it. A lot of people don't understand it. But that's, she understands it. And her and her husband do. So I don't give a damn. <laughs> I don't give a damn what they do. As long as whatever they doing work for them, right? Exactly. It ain't affecting me. So, hey. Oh, my gosh, exactly. So talk about the women in, in comedy. Do we see a lot of them now? What do you think about the women in comedy? Do we need more, or do you do you see more now? I, I see more, but um, I think we need they need more exposure. I think uh, clubs need to give them more opportunities. I, I think there's a stigma attached to a female in a, being a comedian. You, you, you almost never, if I go to different places, uh, if I don't bring or, or suggest an act myself, 99% of the time it's a man. I, I have never, I don't think a club has ever given me a woman to feature and open for me wow. without me asking for it, ever. That's a problem though. Yeah, definitely. Mm. So and, but you opening the doors for that, you've been doing that. Um, definitely, so keep doing what you're doing. Did she just pull out? <laughs> I know she didn't. She got hot, y'all. Yeah, so she got her. It's, be cold here. it's okay, though. It's all right. The, the fan is cute. So do you get into, like, the – I like that. Oh, it got a name on it. Make sure y'all get that. Yes. So do you get into the social media drama? Have you seen this Nicki Minaj and Remy Ma beef? Like, who who do you think <laughs> did the other person in? Have you listened to it? Yesterday at the radio station, they played it for me. And it just reminds me of signifying with a bit of music behind it. It's not, you know, it's something that I personally wouldn't engage in because my skin too thin. Yeah. You talk about me, we it's going to be Snapchat. You feel me? That's all I'm saying. Yeah. But, but I, you know, I feel like sometimes it's marketing. You know, like if somebody's got a product or an album coming out right close to the yeah. time, I'm like, please. You know, I, I don't know what's going on, but I don't really get into it it's it's young and i'm a, yeah. i'm an old schooler now if you tell me that uh let's see that uh felicia rashad and <laughs> somebody else in my genre is going at it uh -huh. acting acting off uh -huh. i'm in there i'm all in there I feel you on that. Let me just go ahead and say, Faze on Love. Did you see that video <laughs> of him dragging yeah, him around like a rag doll? I tried to make it, you know, sophisticated, but be, let me get into it. Did you see it? it? Yes. Did you see that? I saw it. I, I mean, it. it was like that dude was like a rag doll. I felt sorry for him. Well, he was um, pretty slim, and Faze on is a big guy, so it's like this, he was like this fan. You know, I could just sling it the way I want to. So I wasn't surprised that he slung him around like that. I was just shocked that he grabbed him. I, I couldn't hear any audio on it. They said he spit. In yeah, he, I heard Faison say that on, a, on another video. Mm -hmm. But I would love to see that. Uh, if there was a guy standing there videotaping. Yeah. I would like to see his tape. Because there's some, there some dialogue on there. On mm, that, right? it didn't, the eyes didn't match the story. And it's kind of like when a cop shoots somebody black and they go, he was doing this. And then you look at the video, you go, I don't see him exactly. doing that. It was like that. Yeah, exactly. Does that open up doors for him now? Like, is he going to get booked more for that? or I don't know. Work? I don't know. Probably because the world is thirsty for yes. bullshit these days. And drama. Exactly. And so that might make them say, yeah, who's this face on? I like the mm -hmm. way he slung the dude around. So let me get a ticket. All right. So... <laughs> Who's up next? Who do you see that's like the next comedian that we may not have seen yet? Who's up next in your eyes? Well, I, I, by me not seeing a lot of their work, I can't really call that. Mm -hmm. But I do know that the ones that I've seen are like there are some that I've seen that are really, really good. And I'm like, OK, hopefully you'll go places. This business is funny. It's weird. It's strange. You never know, but there's a lot of good talent out there. Mm. It really is. Yeah. It really is. So it's hard to predict you. You a busy lady. What's uh, what's next for you? What can we expect? Uh, I'm just next. I'm I'm trying to work on. I got a movie that I wrote, and I'm trying to. I I'm soliciting help with it because I started on it last year, mm -hmm. and uh, we we filmed a little bit of it. But I I know I need collaboration. I need somebody to help me out with it because it's a great story. It's a spoof of the housewives. Oh. It's like uh, you know, it's in the vein of don't drink your juice in the hood, mm -hmm. that type of thing. It's called Skank Holes, but that's an acronym. <laughs> it's it's an acronym for Super Cool and Naturally Kinky Housewives of uh -huh. Social Entertainment. Oh. 
skank holes. Yes, they are all, uh, all the housewives on my spoof have natural hair. They don't have the weaves and the perms and the stuff that all the, uh, <laughs> right, they don't, they ain't going to be rubbing their titty like it's a cat. What's up with you bitches right. with that hair on your titty instead of doing this? What's that? What kind of hair is that? Is that cat hair and you got to <laughs> pet that mouse? But what is that? Yeah, because you know it ain't there. Yeah, they got to make sure it's there. Yeah, but you know, we, I'm worn weave. I didn't have to keep my hand. I didn't have to rub it like it was a fur, furry animal. What the hell is that new weave? That's the 27-piece right. chicken they weave. they 20 inches, the 30 inches. Yeah. And, I mean, it's like outrageous now. It's crazy. I ain't mad because the hair business is booming Ooh. and a lot of sisters are in the hair business. Yeah. So I ain't mad at them, but I don't understand when you keep... <laughs> Yeah, I see it all the time. Like, they always do. They rub it. It's really a I titty do. rub yeah. in my mind. I'm like, I'm. That's a titty rub. That ain't no damn hair rub. That's a titty rub. Exactly. But a hair going down over a titty. I know guys saying, let me smooth your hair out. Right. Exactly. Exactly. You a mess. So what's a what's a skank hole? In your, a skank in your, hole. In your eyes? Is a super cool no. and naturally kinky housewife of social entertainment. But I'm talking about in real life. What oh, you oh, not the real? acronym no, skank hole. I don't know. I you know what a hoe is. I know what a hoe is, but I don't know what a skank hoe is. <laughs> but here's the deal. I don't even know what the word skank means except like Me like it's stank with a super it's super stank, I guess. Okay. So you skank, I guess. <laughs> right, okay. But, you know, <clears throat> I was just playing on it with mm -hmm. my with my Give me your hand and grab my stuff. Huh? I was just playing on it, you mm -hmm. know, on the word. And then the fact that if you think about it, when you watch the housewives, any of them, mm -hmm. they sit on the couch. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> no, she didn't. Like, hey. And they act they like do they that. don't know their titties sitting in somebody else's lap. They, they don't, you don't even know. You, that's your nipple. That's your nipple over there on her lap. You didn't see that? Why are you talking about, and I don't know what candy talking about. You know, I, yeah. so my, my spoof is on in that vein, but it's actually a storyline. I want to see that. Oh, it's going to be funny. I've got some dailies because, like I said, we started, I got Mike Epps to commit to be mm -hmm. in the film. I got Don D.C. Curry to commit to be in the film. Okay. Um, I got a great singer out of Chicago named Teresa G Griffin who's uh, mm -hmm. in the film. I got some really good people in the movie. Wow. I just need, I know, I want it to be good. I think they deserve a good product. Mm -hmm. So I, I halted production on it for, you know, it's temporary. It's okay. like, you know, to revamp it, right. to get it right, get and it to right. get some collaboration. So yeah. if you're out there and you know you can contribute to the film Skank Holes, you heard what it's about. Yeah, Holler at your girl. All collaboration is, just know this, Mike and Don DC ain't getting no money, so you know you ain't. I'm just saying, the budget is very, very low. It's this low. However, <laughs> if we do anything or if something comes later, you're definitely in the game because you contributed to my product. Mm -hmm. That's how it goes. But you know what? I had to, I had to learn that everything that you do, you're not going to get money for, especially when you're trying to get out there exactly. and start. Yeah, you got, some time, you got to do it for free sometimes. Not everything, but some stuff. That's gonna benefit you. you. Hoes, don't do it for free, cause then you ain't really a hoe. You just a slut at that Ooh. point. She, she can't She's such a fucking lady. Hey. <laughs> so tell everybody where they can find you on social media that you do have. Okay, I'm Adele Givens on Facebook. I'm Adele Givens two on Facebook. That's my fan page, and it's to the word, as in also that too, not to your people. You know, you know who you are. Um, and then on Instagram, Adele Givens is such a fn lady. Uh, and then on Twitter, it's at Real Adele Givens. And Snapchat is coming, like, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Can I name myself anything on chat? Snapchat? Yep, it's going to be Adele Givens unless somebody got that already and they don't let me have it. Snapchat, it's going to be Adele Givens, and I'm going to have that by tomorrow. You'll have a video because I'm going to be doing some stupid stuff on it. Yes, and we can't wait. I love you. you. Keep doing your thing. Make sure you check her out this weekend at the Comedy Zone because you don't want to miss it. She is such a skin lady. We are out. Deuces. <laughs>